Hi, in this video, we're going to see the most failure in the laptop. So the first failure is the power jack, as you can see. The power jack is one of the most failure or the most common failure in the laptop motherboard. So you should always check the power jack and the solder or soldering of the power jack. You should check all terminals. If you find any dry solder, you should make another new solder. So after the power jack, you should check the power components near to the power jack, like capacitors, inductor, fuses, MOSFETs, all power component near to the power jack okay these components can be failed especially if you get a dead motherboard as you can see here this is a current sense resistor we have mosfets we have diodes this is a fuse resistor etc and of course to charge ic this is to charge ic as you can see here the charge ic also can be failed to check to charge IC, you can just use your finger. If you feel a hit that to charge IC is very hot, means it is failed. You can also check the capacitors around it. If you find any shorter capacitor, means the IC is failed, of course, when you plug the adapter. So the connectors, also the connectors can be the cause of a, fa of a failed laptop, as you can see. So you should check the connector pins or terminals as you can see for example for this connector we have here a bended pin this bended pin can make a short circuit in the motherboard especially when two pins a ground pin and a, a pin that holds a power a 19 volt or 3 volt are connected together so the second fault is the random access memory the random access memory can be disconnected as you can see, like this, it can be disconnected. When it is disconnected, the laptop cannot be operated correctly. You can get a, a black screen or a fairy. So you can just clean the RAM chip and clean the RAM slot and put it back. Okay, so the RAMs can be also the cause of laptop failure. You should always check the RAMs, okay? Because if there is any problem in the RAM, the screen will be black. You will get no data in the screen. So the next component or the next common fault in the laptop motherboard is the graphic card, okay? The graphic card can be also the cause of a dead motherboard of a no data in the screen. Exactly a black screen. So. To repair the problem of the graphic card, the solder, as you can see, this is the solder under the graphic card. If there is any dry or a bad soldering, the graphic card cannot be operated correctly. So you can just use the hot air gun, okay? You can just, as you can see, use the hot air over the graphic card okay and then you will solve the problem okay of course you should use the hot air gun with the flux or the soldering paste as you can see here this is the soldering paste you should make a little bit of a soldering paste around the graphic card and then use the hot air gun okay in order to warm up the graphic card and you will solve the problem okay so also among the common fault in the laptop motherboard we have bios or the basic input output system of course the bios contain a program or a software inside it if the software is corrupted the laptop will stop working so the bios as you can see this is the pin number one as you can see here this is the bios pins eight pins as you can see always the pin number one is determined with a dot so the pin number eight as you can see here always hold 3.3 volt when you power the motherboard without pressing the power button you should measure 3.3 volt in the pin number eight of the bios or basic input output system 
The other faults that you can get in the motherboard is the CMOS battery fault. Okay, sometimes I find in some laptops when there is a bad CMOS battery, okay, this can cause a failed laptop motherboard. It can cause a no power motherboard. That's why you should always check the CMOS battery. Okay, the CMOS battery you should find 3.3 volts between its terminals okay then we have the super io as you can see this is a very important ic in the motherboard this is the ic that is responsible for the power the whole power in the motherboard so if there is any problem with this ic the power will be failed in the motherboard that's why you should always check it you should check check its pins check its heat if it is very hot then there is a failure in it <clears throat> of course i want to add that there is some motherboard that contain a power jack and others that is connected via a cable to the power jack as you can see here so the power jack is connected to the motherboard via a cable so it contains two terminals, the positive terminals and the negative terminals. Or always the red wires means positive and the black wires means negative. Okay, as you can see. So here we have two MOSFETs or switches. Here we have the diode. This is a protection component. The diode is connected to the ground, as you can see here, to protect the motherboard. If there is a, an overcurrent or over voltage, the diode will be damaged and will be shorted to the ground and then protect the other circuits in the motherboards. So now we're going to see how to find the short. So the short circuit is one of the common faults in the motherboard. So to find or to check the short or to diagnose the short circuit in the motherboard, you should use a circuit. You should use inductors, okay? Because always inductors are never connected to the ground. That's why you should use inductors to check whether you have a short in any circuit or not. So if you find that an inductor is shorted to the ground means there is a short circuit the inductor can never be shorted to the ground okay then the connectors especially the usb connector as you see the usb connector contain four pins plus five volt ground d minus and d plus if there is a bended pins or a damaged pins this can make a short circuit in the motherboard that's why you should always check the usb connectors and all connectors in the motherboard then there is another ic that can cause the failure to sound ic or the audio control ic as you can see the audio control ic as you can see it controls these ports so this is the audio control ic if there is any problem in this ic it can cause a dead motherboard or a failed motherboard of course you can check it or feel it using your finger if it is very hot it means it is failed or you can just check the capacitors the ceramic capacitors around it if you find any shorter capacitor it means the ic is bad you should replace it okay using another ic with the same part number or reference then the ich or the third bridge as you know the third bridge is the chip that is responsible for the whole ports and connectors in the motherboards okay as you can see this is the ich until ich the ich is failed all ports in the motherboard will stop working okay so here we have a crystal and we have the ICH, okay? So the ICH controls all ports in the motherboard, as you can see. The USB connector, the RG45 connector, the audio connector, the HDMI connectors, all connectors in the motherboard. If you find that all connectors in the motherboard are stop working, that means the ICH is bad. Okay, so the ICH or the short bridge is the controller for all ports in the motherboard.